Hello there. You've got a cool face. It's like a robot bunny rabbit. I like your jacket. Yeah, your whole vibe is cool. You're a bit static, though. I mean, you're not doing much. Oh, hey, what the f... I touched your nipple gently. And now you're throwing hands like a madman. I mean, if you want to, what are you sliding forward for? What's happening here? Why don't you have a walking animation? Right, you're dead, mate. You're dead. Have that. Right, mate, you, you brought that on yourself. I just wanted to touch your nipple just once. And uh, you thought it would be funny to start on me. So you're going in the... In, oh, in the barrel. You're going in the barrel, son. Right, uh... Can you put you in the bar <laughs> Can I put you in the barrel? Oh! <laughs> okay. Package him right in there. That's it. Fold him over. Pat him on the bum. Pat him on the bum. Walk away. <laughs> oh! Did you get that on camera? Are you filming? I don't even know what your purpose is, but that's cool. You can punch people and put them in the bin. Whoa, look at this shiny cyberpunk world. Hey, look at this. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. And welcome to today's whoa, new video. There are a ton of new VR games out today. We got 4VR Pool. We got Broken Edge. We got Espire 2. We got What the Bat. We got Veil launching into Early Access. And we have Lon. Now this is Lon. And I'm checking this one out today, obviously. Um, not necessarily because I think it looks the best out of all those games coming out today. Oh my word, this looks great! <laughs> um, yeah, not necessarily because I think it's the best looking of all the games coming out today. It's just the one that interests me the most. This game's been developed by three people. Small, small indie development team um, for around four years. I remember the first time I saw the trailer and I was like, oh, it's like a uh, cyberpunky ghost runner, lo fi, but with more of kind of like a story and some more action to it. A um, bit like a Blade Runner esque VR experience. And that kind of hooked me immediately. Um, and I've wanted to play it ever since. But just recently, the last few trailers, <laughs> in particular, whoa have kind of pitched this and angled it as a cyberpunk bone lab or cyberpunk bone works. Like the physics-based interactions, the way they're playing through the levels, the kind of like head crab, crablet-esque creatures. Very, very reminiscent of bone lab and bone works. So I'm checking it out today to see how it stacks up against something like that. Is that the vibe it's going for or is that the vibe that the trailers are giving off? Hopefully it looks nice for you guys capturing in 1440p. Don't forget to pump up the resolution on YouTube. Let's dive into this. Let's go. Whoa, where am I? I'm guessing this is where I live. I love a good cyberpunk apartment. Hello. Hello, robot. Why are you spying on me? I like the windows. I'm a sucker for a rainy for a rainy window. Oh, I can't do like a point. Why are all VR games I'm playing recently taking away pointing? If you press grip, you should be left with a pointy finger. It's the best damn drink in the world. Is it now? Well, I just cleaned it up and threw it in the bin. This place is an absolute tip. Look at it. It's shocking. All right. Why are you pointing now? Don't start pointing now. Now that I want a point, you can't just start pointing. Okay. All right. So... <laughs> oh, my God. They're everywhere. All right. So, we do have... Some, uh, 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 okay, I don't think I can get that one. Oh, I can. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. Okay. Uh, okay, that one's gone. It's under the bed. We do have some physics based interactions in this. Um, you can kind of pick up everything, um, or pretty much everything in the world. Throw it around. Uh, can I tip them out if I wanted to? Oh, it looks like it. <laughs> My god. Okay. Yeah, I can tip all those out, so I can clean my mess, and then I can make a mess. The last wall. What is it? Is it a book? Is it a DVD? Don't know. Either way, don't want to read it, don't want to watch it. Oh, oh, this is nice. Oh, this is very nice. Yes. Right, I'm going to cheat. I'm not even going to try. <clears throat> three points. Actually, I don't think that's how three points works. I think that's barely even one point. Hello? Look at that. Drink physics to rival Half-Life Alex. To be fair, it does move around in the bowl, look. It actually does. Nice. Yeet! Where did that go? Oh, it went there! Okay. 
Arm back. Forward. Oh, for God's sake, there's a pole in the way. Okay. Arm back. Nowhere near as exciting as I thought it was going to be. Except call. Boop. Oh, hello. Good morning. Good morning. Or should I say evening? You're very How's tall. The job last night? Ah, the usual. Talking to stupid people, drinking cold oh, coffee, and can't chasing get close. bad guys. No, but it's a hologram. <laughs> Are you calling me stupid? <laughs> Push to unlock apartment doors. Why can I now point? I guess you point when you need to point. Push to unlock apartment front door. Okay, well I want to explore the rest of the apartment. Um, what's in here? Ah, can't even have a shower. Just want a quick blast in the shower before I go and kill some bad guys. I want to use my PT shampoo. Why the hell does this guy have two gaming PCs in his bathroom? And why can you open the fronts of them like this? Are these not PCs? I assume they're probably not PCs. What is it? Oh, gun room. Gimme, 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 gimme. How do I open that? Aha. Why did that not open that? There we go. Come on. Come on. I'm ready. I'm ready now for a day of whatever the hell this guy does. Solving crimes, I think? Now, if you know me, you know I love burgers. Especially ones with fresh buns and real beef. Oh, hell. Premium quality burger. Get them hot. I wish I could see what was inside that. Why are these everywhere? I'm guessing they're just like little storage compartments. Really strange. I thought they were PCs. <laughs> they're like bins. Elevator Hello. is broken. Is it now? Take the stairs. <laughs> Get out of my way. Fix the bloody elevator. Wanted. Unknown. How can you want someone if they're unknown? How can you want someone if you don't even know who that someone is? Very dangerous. How do you even know? You don't even know who they are. You weirdo. Oh. Don't go in there. There's a dog in there. Big scary dog in there. Oh, very nice. This is cool. That hive air taxi over there. Interesting. Okay, I wonder how, when we get into some proper gameplay, how it actually plays. But like visually. It looks pretty nice. I can't just jump down here, can I? Surely I'll die. No, I don't want to try it. I don't want to try it. Oh. Oh. Can I do it? Oh. Okay. I did it. I fell. And now what? <laughs> um, visually, I like it. I like what they're going for here. It's kind of um, a less gritty, less realistic looking version of like lo-fi I guess like lo-fi is like super stylized but it looks very kind of real looks very Blade Runner-esque this has gone for that cyberpunk vibe and that kind of futuristic over the top neon weird things that are kind of there but like what's their purpose I mean like what is this big spinning thing it's all kind of OTT VR climbing man Jesus when will anyone get VR climbing exactly right? Ah! See? Alright, this barrel needs to go off my bridge. Oh, I hit that sign that's spinning round. That's cool. Um, I always think of this when I play kind of like Super Alien. Oh, nice. Uh, I always think this when I play like Super kind of sci-fi, cyberpunk-esque inspired games. Like, I look at all this stuff, like the neon, these kind of weird red laser beams, these spinny bits. And I think it looks awesome. But I can't help but think, what is its purpose? Like, within the context of this world, what is that circle doing? <laughs> Someone built it, you know? An engineer came and they built that. Why? What? Why? What does it do? What does it actually do? I'll never know. I'll never know. <clears throat> We're climbing. We're climbing down. I think that's the right thing to do. So I guess this is like a kind of a hub world area. Like, there's people here. They seem pretty chill, though. They're just kind of standing. Hello. You all right? Backing away from me with your Geordie LaForge eye goggles. Um, yeah, it seems like this is kind of a strange hub area. There's there's no mission here. I'm just kind of walking around. Stole someone's noodles. Hello. Hello there. You okay? Hello. Any game that lets you pet the dog is great. Here you go, do you want some noodles? 
Have a little pot on it. I'll leave them here for you. Right. I'll leave them just there for you. Eat up. Enjoy. Right. <laughs> I don't know what's going on yet. <laughs> There's not a lot of narrative driving me forward. Had a few little text pop-ups and uh, one or two lines of dialogue. Ah, hello. I know you. I well, saw you in my house earlier. Well. You look tired. Yeah. The night shift in the crime-fighting superhero business can be hello. pretty exhausting. Not to mention the partying. Yeah. Uh -huh. While you were throwing money around, I was finding the Making next crime. Making it rain! And keeping our heads above water. Head through the main door. Instructions are on the right. Main door. Main door. Great. Okay. I could do like an arrow or something. <laughs> or for her to just like point. Some kind of... Anything really. Is it this one? Hello? Oh! Okay. Yep. So there's a bit of training. Open up the cabinets Whoa. and stick your hands in so we can attach the gloves. Infinity gauntlets. Whoa! Oh, I'm Iron Man now. I'm uploading some Hold grip button while targeting an object for telekinetic grip. You learn how to use your new easy! Tool. Firstly, distance. Grip. Easy, easy, easy. Let's start by putting a battery in that to save Cool, door. okay. How do I. Why didn't it point that one anymore? Can I do this one as well? Yeah, okay, both hands work. Huh. Can I have that box? Oh, okay, yeah, cool. So it's just a distant grab. Can't grab that though for some reason. There we go. Ah, battery. Whoop! Walled security. And then that goes in the door, okay? Solving puzzles like a boss. Hello? Now, let's restore your health from all that party. On your hand is a green line. This is your health. Point your hand at the nano machine. Uh huh. These Make sure it doesn't drop too low. Nanomaterials okay. that will increase your strength mm. as well as repair damaged organs. Lovely. Thank you. Oh! Oh! Okay, I can pick stuff up. Ooh! Okay, that's cool. Uh, can I can do it with this one as well. It's pretty big. Oh, there we go, there we go. You just pointed out. There we go. Up. Oh! Okay. So I've got like gravity gloves in two different kind of ways so I can lift things and hold them and move them around. Ah, or I can just like grab them from a distance and bring them to me if it's a small object. All right, okay, cool. Telekinetic gloves. They make sense to me. Yes. That is a cool cup. Someone took the new Lol X114E pistol. Okay. <laughs> Speaking of guns, where's yours? I don't have a gun. Uh, uh, partying sure does impair your ability to think right. Pick up and place over your shoulder. What is it? What is it? Oh, is that the credits you were talking about? Is that my money? 200, okay. Right, I need to go and buy a gun or something. I don't have a gun anymore. Let me out. There wasn't even a door there. Why did I press the button? Hello, Lucky. I'm here to buy a gun. Lucky customer. Oh my god, his face. He's got two different colored eyes like me. Fill up your pockets. Hey, man. I have a job tonight. You're just like what me. Kind of oh. job? <laughs> Let's just say I may need to creep up on someone and dispose of them without attracting attention. He's got incredible teeth. His mouth is really expressive. And then something about the rest of his face kind of isn't. Very, I just love the fact he's got two different colored eyes. He's just like me. Uh, on your glove, a number on top of the blue screen. I oh, know that's my money, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I want to buy a knife. Is that what I'm buying? That's all I can afford. Okay. Okay. Right, I can only afford a knife. So, uh, Brilliant. What exactly do I do with this new tech? Yeah. Hey, pal. People in these parts go about doing their thing. He moves getting his mouth out, so much. Going to the club, getting wasted. Bye, Lucky. Something about your face makes me really uneasy. I'm not sure what it is. Get back into the hive car and make your way to District 6. Are you okay? You don't look okay. What's wrong with your neck? What's wrong with your walking? Oh my god, are you okay? What's wrong with your back? Oh, don't come back over here. Demon. Absolute dick. What's wrong with your head? I saw it wobbling down them, <laughs> down them stairs. <laughs> She's trying to pathfind around me and is uh, struggling uh, tremendously. Okay. Going that way now. Alright. Okay. That's fine. Oh, oh, okay, hold on. What if I throw this bin at you? Would you like that? Would you enjoy that? <laughs> Bye! The Prophecy. Okay, this is an actual mission now. I've been running around in the hub area for ages. There's like an apartment where you kind of just can look at stuff and 
play basketball. And then there's like a, a city area where you buy weapons and go to the shop where you work or the detective agency where you work. This is now an actual mission. And I have no weapons. I think I need to buy a blueprint <laughs> for a knife. Manufacturing of firearms through a 3D print station. Let's try this blueprint. Okay, well that says 50 credits and I have no credits. So I need some credits, okay. Ah, that's 25. Where the hell is the other 25? Oh, don't do this to me. Not immediately. Where the... Okay, right. We need. There should be 25 more credits somewhere. And I need them ASAP. Oh, bloody heck. Why would you do this immediately? Just give me a gun or a knife and let me shoot people. Right, let's spend those making a knife. Oh! Okay. Oh. Okay. I could do that or that. Bit of that or bit of that. I mean, so far, it does look very impressive for a three-person project. Like, you have to give it credit for that. It does feel a little bit janky. There's something it's something kind of a little bit sluggish about it. We'll see how it feels when I get into some combat, but I mean, it doesn't it doesn't feel super slick right now. Okay, have I got a pocket there I can put it in? Yeah, cool. Right, we can climb as well. Look, climb up here if I want to. Don't know why I would. The climbing's quite nice. And look, yeah, like mantling over the top does actually work. So that's impressive in itself. Ah, credits. I need them. As I say, the uh, most recent trailer in particular made the game look very, very Bone Lab or Bone Works. Can I break a window? No, I can't. Okay. Right, we can't break that, so we're going through here. Okay. Hello? Ah. Oh. There we go. What's down, what's down here? More credits. More credits and a heal machine. I don't need that. I'm, like, fully healed up. I'm fresh. Oh, so many credits. Hello? Any baddies in here? Ah! Oh, headcrabs! Ah! Oh, person! Okay. Right, let's... Hold that in that hand. Oh my god. No, put it in that hand. What does that remind me? Ah, Jesus Christ! Come here. Come, come here right now. Stop with your shenanigans. You're going down the stairs, son. You're going down the bloody stairs. Is it alive? No, it's dead. Thank God for that. Okay, that's kind of cool. <laughs> Very Half-Life Alex <sighs> Or Bone Lab. Right, let's throw a drink at this guy. Hey, you. Oh, he's figured it out, kind of. Come here. Out of that! <laughs> okay, can I stab? Oh, no, it doesn't... Okay. okay. Oh, I don't think I can actually, like, stab through them. Come here, you. Oh! But I can with those! Okay, that was kind of cool. Alright, okay. <laughs> okay, that's kind of... That's kind of cool, that's kind of cool. The, the dudes, the people all seem to have the same, like, fighting stance and animations. They immediately go into this, like, kind of boxing stance and they kind of slide around and just throw punches at you. So it is, like, physic physics-based fighting, but it doesn't feel as spontaneous and unpredictable as something like Boneworks. Like, they've all gone into this stance immediately and then you can quite easily dodge them. I mean, that feels fun to punch them. Oh, bugger! Did I punch that thing? It's definitely still alive. It's definitely still alive. Whoa! <laughs> Come on, I'll punch you out of the air. Come on. Come on. Oh, that didn't quite work the way I wanted it to. But it's dead, I think. Oh, bugger. Give my knife back. That's good. Okay, alright. It's not... It's not... Awful. It's... It's, it's kind of good. Um, I think. I don't know. Right. Big test. <laughs> oh, this is such a test. Oh! Okay, that's kind of cool that that technically works. I've just realised there's no pockets. I can't physically play this. There's no pockets on this table. How would you win? God, some of these areas just even have, like... Like, looking at that particular bit there... It's got a very, uh... Boneworks, Bone Lab vibe. I think this game was actually announced before... Boneworks came out. It's, it's been in development for a really long time. Um, a really long time. Say four years. Maybe more. Probably more. Okay. Oh, nice. One by one. Ah! Jesus Christ! Come hit. Come. Oh, fine. Come. Come. Do the jump again. That's it. Ugh, idiot. You dead now? 
Yeah, I thought so. You're dead now. I like killing those things with that. That's nice. I prefer fighting them than fighting the people. Oh, I saw this in the trailer. Up. Up, up, up. Okay. Into... Into there. Look at that! Physics-based puzzle solving! Oh, my lord! Very cool. Alright. Uh, oh, okay. Do I need to move that along? Yeah, and then through there. <laughs> and through that gap. Through the gap. Through the gap. There we go. Come to me. <laughs> That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. This game's sweet. Like it's got its uh, it's got its merits definitely. Definitely got its merits. I don't know how long this is. Um, I'm probably only going to play through this level. Maybe one more for the first impressions, because um, Dev did say they'd prefer it if I didn't spoil too much of the game in this video, um, which I totally understand. Uh, I also asked how much it's going to be. Uh, no definitive price yet, so I can't say in this video, but it's out today, so it should be on Steam by the time this video goes up. Is that a baddie? Is that a bad guy? Right, I'm fully prepared for that to be a bad guy. He's getting chaired. Chaired to death. Ah! How you doing? Ah! Take that, you shit! <laughs> oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Nice. Ah! Oh, you little bugger. Come here. Come here now. Yeah, fighting them is the best bit so far. Um, it just feels really nice to kind of get the stab on them. So few VR games get climbing ladders right, or climbing in general. Like, I know it's immersion breaking, but I would prefer to get to the top of a ladder in a VR game, and for at this point, it recognised that I want to go over, and basically just put me there. Put me here, just go, whoop, a quick movement. You know, no vignetting, no kind of fading in, fading out. Just put me on the ledge. Because I've fallen here, like, seven times now. And I know how the climbing works, but this particular ladder here keeps pushing me off when I get to the top. Come on. Right, it looks like I'm over. Oh, thank God it worked that time. Jesus, yeah, climbing in VR games, that always seems to be an issue. Just no one really nails it. A few games, though, have done that thing where they, it just moves you there. When you get to the top of a ladder or the top of something, it's just like, that's fine, you've made it now. I'll put you at the top. I know what you're trying to achieve. Not too much action so far. Lots of empty areas where there's no enemies. I would have expected a few more enemies in these areas in particular. But I'm just kind of walking through. There's no guards down here. Looks like somewhere that should be guarded, right? I don't like this squid game looking guy over here. And this big statue that says stop. Give to God. I don't want to give to God. Give to God. I don't want to give to God. About this. Hello. Give to God. I don't want to give to God. The body is a disturbing element. Right, I'm going upstairs. He's mind from the oh. acquisition of knowledge. Nope. To have pure knowledge going of anything, up here. We must quit the body. Why is this right, I'm gonna get him. Like Oh, where's he gone? Where's he gone? Of I want to drop on his head. Uh oh. Again more of a Mate, stand underneath me. Stand underneath me. Stand on. That's it. That's it. From the body. Ah! <laughs> to that was a pure accident. I just crushed him with the weight of my own body. Okay, so the crowbar acts as a weapon because I can stow it in a shoulder slot. But this thing doesn't act as a weapon. Cannot stow that in a shoulder slot. Um, okay, well, I'm going to take this anyway. Hello, mate. Whoa, he's speedy. Take that. Ah, now I've got two big pointy things. Yes. I'm the pointiest, stabbiest man in all the town. I still don't have a gun. Right. I'm going to stab them all up. Easy. Easy game, mate. E when you've got these, pure easiness. Right. Take the battery. We're getting out of here. Battery in there. And we're into the locker room. Hello. Luna, just seen things you wouldn't believe. A form of messed up brainwashing cult organization called Wuxin. Worshipping a colossal statue. Uh -huh. Brainwashing? Uh -huh. Statue? Yeah. Ah. Dead bodies left to rot. Who would do that? No idea. Is that a gun? Oh my god, I'm finally getting a gun. This is the best day ever. What is that? Ammo. Slam that right in there. Okay. Wow! Future gun! Lovely. Wait. You successfully taken multiple shipments of lore, weaponry, and technology. Well, they're mine now. 
Mine now, bro. Can I open these? Is there even more in here? Oh, there is! Yeah, baby. Give me those clips. Give me those ammo clips and the credits. I am rolling in it right now. I see you over there. Come get me. Oh my god, I actually can! That's too far for it to jump. I don't, I don't like that. Die. And you. Dead. Great. Brilliant. <laughs> Guns are nice. Very floaty bullets. It's like a really arcadey. I like that. It's kind of cool. Ah! Oh god, they're alive still! Gee! Oh, good! Okay! Yeah. You good? Cool, right. Oh, no, you've dropped it. Bang that in there. Cock it. Nice. Put it there. Oh, I can move it myself! That's cool, okay. Move it, move it, move it. Jump! No, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Nice. Come on, drag it along with your magic powers. That's cool. And then one more jump, one more jump. Hee! Oh, I don't know the jumping. Hee! Okay, we made it. Let's see if we can put a box on his head. Hello, mate! Put a box on your head if that's okay. Come here. Come here, you. Just just quickly. Oh, he doesn't seem to see that I'm here. Oh, oh, oh no, no, he didn't like... Oh, no, he's got a gun. Oh, no, he's got a gun. Oh, oh, no, he's got a gun. Holy... Oh, no. Oh god. I, I, I didn't consider that they might have guns, you know? That just stopped being a concern of mine. Holy shit. This is a cool area. This looks very but I can't stop comparing it to like Boneworks and Bone Lab, but it it does it does have that vibe very much. Okay. Five bullets left. Whoa. Okay. Whoa, 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 bro! With your sword? Nice. Okay. That's kind of nice. Yeah. I can kind of get on board with that. It's it's this is cool. It it does feel very indie. It it doesn't feel super polished. Um and I don't think I don't think it's going to be the Cyberpunk Bone Works or Cyberpunk Bone Lab that the most recent trailer makes it seem. I think that trailer isn't necessarily misleading. If I say misleading, that, that kind of makes it sound like I think there was some kind of insidious intent or um, any kind of kind of intent to trick people. You can do everything that they showed in that trailer. Um, if you haven't seen the trailer, I would say go and check it out. Have a look, have a look at it. See what I'm talking about. Most recent trailer is showcasing this game for what it is, but it kind of plays out in such a way that it looked very, very Bone Lab, very, very Bone Works, very, very physics orientated. Um, and this game can do that stuff, but it's quite a bit, quite a bit more, and janky is the only word that I can think of right now, quite a bit more janky, quite a bit more indie, quite a bit more chunky. When they say physics-based fighting, all the fights against the people kind of play out the same because they have the same animations and they all go into this kind of default punching animation, whereas in something like Boneworks or Bone Lab or even Half-Life Alex or any of those kind of games, the enemies have a lot of kind of spontaneity and unpredictability about them. They kind of come at you in different ways and they sway different ways and if you if you sweep their legs they'll fall over. In this, people seem very glued to the floor. You know, when they come to attack you, they seem glued to the floor and they slide towards you and it becomes kind of like a punch fest. It's very easy to dodge and you can just take them down. There isn't really many different ways of taking them out. Not right now, anyway. I just hit them, hit them, hit them, dead. Um, if I wanted to, like, sweep their leg, it, it doesn't feel like it's an option. And it doesn't feel like I can impale them, either. I'm stabbing them, but it's kind of making the punch noise. Um, don't know. It, I, I, I like it. I think, it's, I think it's very cool for a three-man project, but the trailer made it seem like it was very, very slick. And, it, and playing it, it doesn't feel quite as slick as it looks. Let's see what this sword can do. Oh, I can block bullets! That's cool! Oh, okay, if I can actually block them, that is... Oh, that's cool. Okay, I can't... Oh, I can deflect them back. Okay, that's pretty snazzy. Oh, I like that. Coming in clutch right at the end, Lon. Okay, so the game's starting to heat up now. <laughs> now that I've got the sword, things are pretty cool. Right, I'm going to leave it here because I don't want to spoil too much of the game. This is Lon. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, my first impressions are mostly positive, but it is a small-scale indie budget product. You know, it hasn't got all that kind of uh, bone lab, bone works money behind it. And uh, it is a team of three, as opposed to the 
large scale team that work on something like Boneworks or Bone Lab. So if the pricing here is right and you come in with the right expectations of a game that is a little bit janky, you know, you do see a lot of repeated NPCs who don't really have much going on other than just standing there and, you know, not really doing anything. <laughs> There's elements like that that kind of make the game feel a little bit cheap. Um, and I, I'm not being negative, I promise. Uh, it, it's just how it feels to play. It looks great. It's a cool world to explore. But certain elements just don't come together in the way that I think the developers intended. The combat, although fun, does feel a little bit formulaic. Ugh! Especially against... Oh, God. The dudes who... Oh, my God. Walk around. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Oh, God. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Oh, no. Come on. Come on! Come on! Oh my god! I'm definitely gonna die! I'm definitely gonna die! Oh my lord! You stupid thing! Combat's getting more fun. As time goes on, combat is getting more fun, but fighting the like foot drones, the normal soldiers, it's quite formulaic. Like They're kind of glued to the floor, you can't really sweep them off their feet. They just kind of slide towards you and punch occasionally. And that takes away from some of the polish of the game. It really isn't a, like, a physics-based brawler. The game does have physics, but it's not a physics-based fighting game like Blade and Sorcery is, or like Hellsplit Arena is, or like Boneworks is, or Bone Lab. It doesn't feel like that. It feels like a VR beat em up with some physics based elements. I think it's pretty cool, but I do think the pricing is going to be key here. I wouldn't like to throw out a kind of a, an estimate right now. I'll wait and see what it is, but it has promise, it has potential, and certain things are very cool, and it's very impressive for a three man project. But it's all about the expectations of the purchaser. It's all about the expectations of the consumer. So if you come into it knowing that it's a small-scale indie project, I think you'll have a lot of fun. But if you come into it expecting a Cyberpunk Bone Lab or Cyberpunk Bone Works, I think you'll be a little bit disappointed because there is a lot of jank and a lot of rough edges, um, which you can excuse because of the size of the team, but you need to be aware of it before you come in. I hope you've enjoyed, guys. If you have, please do leave a like, leave a comment, and hit subscribe. And I'll see you soon uh, for another one. Oh, my God. I've got to play all those other games that came out today. So many new VR games. It's absolutely ridiculous. Right, take care of yourselves. I'll see you next time. This has been Lon. It is out today. Check it out if it looks like it would float your boat. Oh, no. Bugger off. Bugger off. Stupid robots. Take care, guys. See you later.